guys, I am Maithili and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to tell you all about the basic tools and equipment that you need for baking. This video is perfect for you if you are getting into baking or if you love baking and you want to know more about the tools and equipment that you need for baking. All the products mentioned in the video will be linked in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing is the measuring cups. I have a set of 4 measuring cups and it has 1 fourth cup, then 1 third cup, 1 half cup and 1 cup. The next thing is the measuring spoons. I have a set of 4 measuring spoons and it has half a teaspoon, then 1 teaspoon, half tablespoon and 1 tablespoon. The next thing is the measuring glass. You can use measuring glass instead of the measuring cup. It has rice flour on it in grams, then plain flour on it, then sugar in grams, then it has milliliters and it has ounces. So I recommend this product a lot if you are just getting into baking. The next thing is a sieve. You can use this to sift flour, then sugar, any dry products whenever you are baking. The next thing are bowls. I have bowls of three sizes over here. This one is the small, this one is the medium and this one is a big one. The next one is my personal favorite, it's a spatula. Whenever I'm making cake and I have to transfer the cake batter into the baking tin, I use this to scrap the bowl and there will be no wastage of the batter. The next thing is an electric mixer. I have one from the Philips and it comes with two sets of attachments. This is a whisk attachment and this is the dough attachment. If you don't have an electric mixer, it's absolutely fine if you use a hand whisk. The next thing is the bakeware or the baking tin. Here I have silicone cupcake molds and I use cupcake paper liners with it. So here are some of the baking tins. The first thing is a loaf tin. Uh, you can use this to make bread or ice cream. And here I have a silicone cake mold. Here I have an aluminium cupcake tray. Another baking tin a round aluminium tin i have this attachment over here and if i want to make a bun cake i can just put it over here and put the batter around it here i have a loose bottom tin you can use this to make cheesecakes the next thing are the cookie cutters my sister gifted these to me and the set has various types of cookie cutters in it here's a heart here's something here's a flower here's a circle and a square these are from ikea now let's move on to the decorating part i have here piping bags these are plastic piping bags but sometimes i reuse them i just wash them and i dry them if you don't want to use plastic you can use a reusable cloth piping bag all you have to do is just remove the tape and put a nozzle inside and just close it and you can do the piping like this if you want to do the piping in different shapes here i have some nozzles this one is, I don't know the name, it is used for making a rose. Then here is a V-shaped and here is a circle and this is a star-shaped nozzle. This is also a star-shaped nozzle. Whenever you are done with baking, you don't want to remove the baking tin with your bare hands. Use an oven mitt. After you are done baking with your cakes or your cupcakes, you want to place them on a baking rack to cool off. The last thing is a cling film. You can use this to store your baked goods in the fridge or anywhere else. Also, one of the things is an apron. I cannot find my apron, but apron can be used as an essential thing for baking. Then also you can use weighing scale, the electric weighing scale. If you want to measure your ingredients, I don't have that. I just use my measuring cups and my measuring glass to do that. And yes, and that's it for today's video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.